Hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. We have gotten so many peppers the last couple of days that I have to do something with them. I, I need to get them preserved. So today I'm going to get them ready and put them in the freeze dryer. I also have enough green beans, I think, for our first batch of dilly beans for the year. So we're gonna get that done. We're gonna can them, water bath can. Dilly beans are super easy to make and it's pretty much the only way that I like to can green beans. we've got a lot of these tomatoes aren't ready so I think I'm gonna give them another day and we've just been eating these as we go these peppers though those are looking good and these green beans I'm pretty sure we'll have enough if we keep going on the cucumbers I might get enough to make another batch of pickle relish we're gonna do these first and get them out of the way these are super spicy. I think they're Jamaican yellow, but they also might be some sort of habanero. These are mushroom peppers, and these are also very spicy. These I think are shishitos, but they might be they might be the spicy kind that looks like shishitos. I don't know. Um, bell peppers. I'll probably just stick those in the freezer on this run, since I'm doing mostly hot peppers. These, I'm not sure what they are. We thought they were poblanos, but now thinking about it, they might actually be guajillo peppers, so I'm excited to see how these taste. I think there's some hatch in here. Um, some jalapenos for sure. Super colorful. will most likely eventually be freeze dried but I'm not gonna have room for them today so I'm just gonna chop them and stick them in the freezer then I can either cook with them as I need them or when I do have room in the freeze dryer I can get them in there I usually manage to burn my hands and then they hurt for a couple of days so I'm gonna wear gloves today and we're gonna start with these Jamaican yellows I normally try not to freeze dry anything with the seeds but I want to try an experiment here I want to see if the seeds will actually grow after I freeze dry it. So I'm just going to do it all together like that. And then I'll pop those seeds out of there before I powder them. Alright. So next up. Let's do, let's do some of these, let's do these red peppers. And let's just do 
these various bright red peppers that are not going to belong really anywhere else. To finish filling up this tray. First tray, ready to go in. Alright, next up, let's do these. I do not remember what these are. We thought they were poblanos, but I think they might actually be guajillo peppers, maybe? That was a new kind that we tried growing this year. So let's do, oh, let's do these yellow peppers. All right, tray two, ready to go. Tray three. done. I've got my ball book. We're just gonna make some pickled green beans and they're gonna be fantastic this winter when we're needing a taste of summer. Y'all, canning these beans is going to be so easy because I'm using a vinegar brine. I can do this with a water bath canner. And this brine is just a mixture of vinegar, water, and salt. jar is going to get a clove of garlic, which is just going to give these pickles such a good flavor. So now, these beans are so fun to me. I just want to get them kind of the right size. I'm just going to take off these ends here and then we're going to want to leave about a quarter inch headspace, I believe is what it said. Oh, half inch headspace. So we want our picked green beans to be about that size. And these purple beans are so fun. They start out purple, but then they're gonna turn green as we cook them. And I could honestly even pickle them just like this if I wanted to. I'm gonna do that. Let's do that. I do wanna just look these over for bug damage. The ants seem to really like these long beans. 
I would prefer not to have pickled ants sitting on my pantry shelf. So these shorter beans, I'm going to snap them and pull the string. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.